I recently got back from a third viewing of Prometheus, and I will say, if you did enjoy the film, it really does warrant repeat viewings, as there's a lot of things most moviegoers, like myself, won't get the first time around. I didn't notice all of the religious undertones. However, the themes of creationism and humanity are, boom, right up front and center. Now, this movie is dividing a lot of people. I haven't seen many complaints that can't be solved by saying that was simple cinematic concept. The age-old, why is the woman running from the mass killer who's trying to stab her going up the stairs? Well, because if she ran out the front door, then there wouldn't be a movie. Now, a lot of these things are hard to overlook in some films if they're glaring you in the face. But with Prometheus, they're so minute and there are so many other things going on that it's almost pointless pointing them out. The big problem people are having with this is they're saying it raises too many questions. Now, here's how I feel about that. I have zero problems with a movie raising questions as long as it answers questions uh, uh, while it's at it. You'll be hard-pressed to find a big-budget movie that doesn't try to raise some sort of questions because ultimately, A, the studios want you talking about it, which is certainly working with Prometheus, and B, they want you talking about it because they want a sequel. They want to make a sequel. They want to make their money, which obviously is fine. What I don't like, however, is that most of these people, uh, and this is just... Uh, 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 average or your your everyday most moviegoers, certainly none of my subscribers, you guys are not like this, I know, or you better not be, they want everything spoon-fed to them. They've become so lazy when, when watching movies that heaven forbid you have to use your head for something other than to come up with a clever comment to bash this film that you don't understand. I like that you have to think something. Now, don't get me wrong. Uh, I like a check your brain at the door stupid movie with filled with explosions and fun to eat popcorn with, but th there's a, a time and place for that, and certainly you can't have that every movie. So to have a good balance, I think, is great. That's why I think Prometheus fits in perfectly this summer in between the superheroes and the explosions and the geriatric action heroes and all that stuff. I think it's something completely different. The acting in Prometheus was simply superb, especially Numi Rapace and Michael Fassbender, who both always show up, but the person who stole the show for me was Idris Elba, silently. Watch his mannerisms and listen to the way he delivers his, his lines. There's some sort of uh, weird, uh, 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 little subtle little things he and, 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 and twists he puts on everything, and he steals the show silently. He blows it out of the water quietly. Idris Elba, that's who I wanted more. That was who was the, 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 the subtle standout. For me, Charlie Theron has this presence on the screen that demands your attention all the time, whether you like her or you don't. But the movie, the movie was there. There was no bad acting really within the movie, and in fact, there are some scenes that come across really well done. Uh, not just as far as the filmmaking goes, but the actors, you know, put in a lot of work in some cases. Uh, Prometheus is hard because it's one of those movies that I love, but I can't recommend to everyone because apparently it's not for everyone. But if you're in the mood or, or want to see a sweeping sci-fi drama that touches on themes and motives that we don't really see nowadays in the cinema, then I think it's, it'll be right up your alley. It certainly fits in between all the capes and explosions uh, 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 this summer. Uh, I loved Prometheus. Was it flawed? Certainly. But I believe, truly, it was a thought, or excuse me, a flawed masterpiece. And I'll say this with zero reservations. Prometheus is the most visually stunning, thought-provoking film I've seen in years. And that's saying something because I saw The Expendables. So guys, if you saw it, let me know how you feel about it in the comments section. Are you interested in seeing it? Do you want to see it? Or do you just not care? Let me know. Thanks for watching. I'm Maverick 10, and I'm out of breath.